G'day, Jason the Middle Age Gear Junkie here. I have here a J Rocket Archer, considered by many people to be one of the best Klon style overdrives on the market today. It weighs in at about 300 Australian dollars brand new. And I also have a Mosky Golden Horse. This weighs in at about $35 brand new. Is this a fair fight? Let's find out. This is my clean sound. I'm running through my Fender Deluxe Reverb and I'm on the bridge pickup. Okay, we're going to start off with the Archer. Um, I've got all knobs at noon. That's really, really loud. Uh, this pedal has a hell of a lot of headroom, so, um, and I'll explain why a little bit later on. But for the purposes of this video and to keep everything at Unity Gain, I have to push the output back to about nine o'clock. And I would say that's about Unity Gain. Lovely and warm sounding. All right, let's try the Golden Horsey All Knobs at Noon. So I only have to turn the output down a little bit on this pedal. Okay, so let's give it a bit of a burl. It sounds a little bit different in the mid-range at this point, but uh, these pedals have a reputation for being a great clean boost. And the reason for that is that the gain acts as a ratio between your clean signal and the um, overdriven tone. So I'm going to go back to the Archer. I'm going to wind the gain down. Now, they also get called a transparent overdrive. And the reason for that is this, with the gain all the way down, there is virtually no difference to my tone whatsoever. As I start to wind in the gain, you'll notice that it starts to become a little bit honkier. And it has that just beautiful warm responsiveness uh, because I've got so much of my clean signal mixed in there. Get this beautiful full bodiedness um, with the overdrive. It doesn't shape your tone too much. That's pretty transparent as well. So let's try these pedals now with the gain cranked up. I'm going to change back to my bridge pickup.
Now, Klons have a reputation for having very, very sort of harsh sound once you start to crank them up and get the gain going. And that's where the treble control will come in. So I'm going to back that off to make it a little less harsh. And that works pretty well as a good rhythm overdrive. Try that with the Archer. I think you get even more pick attack with that. It's, it's quite aggressive and, and harsh. So let's back that down to... That's much better. Yeah, I think the Archer definitely has a little bit more body to it than the um, than the Mosky. The Mosky just seems to uh, become a little bit too nasal, whereas I, I think this does have a bit of a peak around 1K, but it still retains all that sort of fullness and bottom end as well. I've now switched to single coils. I'm just going to play around with both pedals and see, if I, see what sorts of tones I can come up with. Straight off the bat, that is a really nice tone. I like it. Uh, I might turn up the gain a little bit. I love this pedal, I really do. It's wonderful. <laughs> I just can't believe how good this sounds for what I paid for it. In terms of their gain range, I think that these two pedals are quite similar. If anything, I think that the Golden Horse here has maybe a little bit more. Like a good Klon style pedal, the uh, Archer here is completely transparent with the gain all the way down. And then as you start to wind it in, you start to get a bit of a peak around sort of uh, 1K, sort of mid-range hump, but it still retains its, its warmth in the bottom end. 
The Golden Horse is similar with the gain all the way down. It is transparent, and as you wind it in, you do get a bit of a mid-range hump. It doesn't seem to have as much bottom end or retain as much bottom end as the Archer, and the mid-range hump, I think, is a little bit deeper, maybe around 800 hertz instead of uh, 1K. Uh, it does sound pretty cool, though. Uh, the Archer were, had a lot more headroom, I found, and was more responsive, and maybe part of the reason for that is clon style circuits boost the internal voltage from 9 up to 18 volts this gives you a lot more headroom this is partly why i had to back the output uh, from halfway down to about nine o'clock right at the start because uh, it means that these pedals have a huge amount of headroom and by by doing that it also makes it very very responsive um, with your pick attack uh, and with your fingers, which is great. I don't feel as though that the Golden Horse was anywhere near as responsive, and I think that was probably uh, one of the biggest difference playing these two pedals, but it still sounded pretty good. Now, if anybody knows how to make a good Klon style pedal, it's J Rocket. When the designer of the Klon Centaur, Bill Finnegan, wanted to make its successor, the Klon KTR, he went to J Rocket for assistance. I actually owned a Klon KTR about 18 months ago. Uh, it was a lovely pedal. I did end up selling it though, uh, because I needed the money. Uh, but I found that this, the uh, the Archer, was every bit as good as I remembered the KTR being, and I'm really happy to have this in my collection and it's not going anywhere. The Golden Horse, on the other hand, this featured in a video that I did earlier this year called the best overdrives you can buy for under $100 brand new. And I still maintain that it should be in that list. It's an excellent little clon sounding overdrive. Uh, it's not quite the same as the Archer, but I tell you what, if you wanna know what this type of pedal is all about and you don't want to pay the earth or you know you're a beginner or whatever get your hands on one of these they're really really good value for money in fact i joked in that video that to make them for 35 dollars that it must be a chinese spy but of course uh, i was joking So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Remember, you can check out my other cheap versus expensive videos in my cheap versus expensive playlist. Uh, you can join the Middle Age Gear Junkie Facebook page by clicking on the link in the description. Other than that, my name is Jason. I hope you have a wonderful day. See you later.